From the smallest creatures like little spiders, all the way to some of the largest like elephants, here are the top 10 mutated species that are terrifying the science community. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have spiders. The Chernobyl exclusion zone is a place where, because of the strange nature of the environment and the radioactive material, things inside the zone are quite different than the surrounding areas, and this includes some really interesting animal mutations. I've talked about my hatred for spiders a lot on this channel, but to be honest, they keep doing kind of cool things, so I have to keep talking about them. Well, maybe this one is like less cool and more scary, but still, they deserved their spot. Spiders that are residing within the exclusion zone are of course radioactive, but it's not only the spiders that are now dangerous to touch, but it's also their webs. Spiders in Chernobyl are likely making radioactive webs, which is the stuff straight out of a comic book. These radioactive webs are also being woven in much different ways than they once were, which would suggest some sort of genetic mutation at play. Not only are the spiders now dangerous for non-radioactive animals to touch, but walking through their web is equally as dangerous to those who aren't thriving in the radiation. So not only do you have to watch out for regular old radioactive material, but now also the never-ending construction of radioactive webs. Great. In our number 9 spot today, we have the two-headed calf. Back in 2015, on a family farm in Florida, as a new little calf was born, those around her were in for quite a surprise. The calf, which was named Annabelle, was born with a mutation that has left her with two heads, four eyes, two mouths, two noses, and two ears. She was unfortunately too weak to stand up, which left her unable to suckle from her mother, but thankfully the family who owned the farm where she was born was devoted to doing all that they could for her. This meant that they would visit her regularly to feed her from a bottle. Unfortunately, however, there was little anyone, including veterinarians, could do to help this sweet little calf. The longest a two-headed calf has ever been recorded as living was just a short 40 days. It truly is quite a shocking mutation, and hopefully in the future, scientists might be able to better figure out how to help so this doesn't happen, or potentially be able to extend the lifespan of calves born this way. In our number 8 spot today, we have barn swallows. After the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, it became clear that the effects weren't just seen in the ground, but also also in the sky. The barn swallows in Chernobyl are one animal who have seen a change in their physical appearance that has lasted all the years since the nuclear meltdown. It is unclear why these birds have been affected greater than their land animal counterparts, or if these changes will ever reverse to their previous state, but here's what we are currently dealing with. The swallows appeared to have severely deformed beaks, disproportionate feathers, some had partial albinism, and they were seen to have much smaller brains. Of course, some of these issues are much worse than others, and I'm sure these changes have significantly affected their ways of life, but of course, they continue to adapt as time goes on. It is sad that this human-made disaster has affected them in such a negative way, but the fact that they are still around really shows their adaptability and resilience. In our number 7 spot today, we have Donald the Duck. Alright, people are going to have to get a little more creative with their baby animal names, because for this one, we are talking about a duck named Donald. I mean, cute, but not very original for this super unique creature. Donald was born, or hatched I should say, by a family in Louisiana in 2014. Apparently when born, Donald was perfectly healthy with the exception of having two extra legs. This little dude was a lot luckier than some of the other animals on this list today, and it is said to have even been able to survive into adulthood, which is a nice change from some of the others we've discussed. Donald was treated by veterinarians at Louisiana State University who were said to have tried to bandage and brace one of his good legs in order to help him walk. but unfortunately Unfortunately, this didn't end up working out too well. Sadly, although Donald lived a lot longer than some of these other creatures, his genetic mutation still didn't put him in the best position, and he passed away shortly after this treatment. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Chernobyl cows. This is another animal mutation that comes from the radioactive environment seen within the Chernobyl exclusion zone. The area around Chernobyl was known for its agriculture before the disaster, so of course that means that there were definitely a lot of cows that could be found. Different from cats and dogs in the area. Since farm animals are not only expensive, but also can be used as a source of income, many people took their farm animals with them as they were evacuating, but many of these animals had already been exposed to the radiation in some capacity, and while it didn't affect them right away, the newer generations saw much more of the effects. In 1989, many farmers began reporting birth defects in their animals, some being much more severe than others. As time went on, the cows became less mutated, but that doesn't 
mean that the effects went away. As the cows continued to graze on feed that was contaminated, the effects became more internal. This has led to completely normal looking cows near the exclusion zone beginning to produce milk that is toxic and not fit for consumption. This is just such another clear example of how even though the visible effects may have worn off, there are still lasting effects that we probably hadn't even previously considered. In our number 5 spot today we have Baby Shark. Sorry for getting that song stuck in your head, all I gotta do is say it. So apparently shark fetuses with two heads are becoming more common around the world. Who would have thought? According to experts, the mutation that leads to this trait is known as axial bifurcation and it's seen not just in sharks but other animals as well including humans. The question though is why it is starting to happen more and more often. Sadly this mutation has quite a negative impact on the sharks as it is unlikely that the sharks with this mutation will even live to see their own birth. For those who do survive until birth it is highly unlikely that they will survive long in the wild. Right now scientists are working hard to figure out what is causing this mutation specifically in sharks. The leading theories include overfishing which is leading to a smaller gene pool and thus a higher susceptibility to genetic mutations or even potentially things like metabolic disorders, pollution or viral infections. In our number 4 spot today we have Medusa. Medusa is a two headed snake who apparently comes with a steep steep price of $50,000. According to her owner he was willing to pay that kind of price because he wanted her since the day she was born. The guys really passionate about this snake and the reason why according to him is that quote the snake is perfect. Some other two headed snakes are beautiful but they have a kink where their heads become one. Medusa doesn't. It's as if she was meant to have two heads. I mean it's a pretty nice thing to say about your snake. Medusa and her two heads is a result of identical twins. These twins split from one embryo to become two but in Medusa's case these twin embryos fused after splitting which resulted in her very pricey but very unique appearance. In our number 3 spot today we have Billy the goat. Just so we're clear, baby goats are called kids. I feel like that's important to clear up before we really dive into this one. And that is because on a farm in northeastern Croatia, one little baby goat or kid was born with some sort of a mutation that left him with 8 legs. This was obviously shocking as of course it was expected to have just 4, but in addition to having twice the amount of legs, this little guy also had both male and female reproductive organs. These unique traits are said to have been a result of this goat sort of absorbing the remnants of an underdeveloped twin sibling. This is actually a thing not just seen in goats but in other animal species as well. Unfortunately though this can and in this case did prove to be fatal. This little guy who was nicknamed Billy the Squid likely didn't survive for longer than a week. In our number 2 spot today we have Froggy. Ok we've got some two headed animals on this list but this one is taking the record because for this point we have a three headed frog. Found in the waters of a seaside resort in Somerset England this unique unique creature named Froggy is said to have escaped captivity. Clearly he's using all three of his heads, clever little guy. Not only does Froggy have three heads but he also has six legs and the culprit behind this unusual scenario is said to be either just a birth defect or potentially a result of water pollution. Froggy was truly baffling to scientists, with one Tim Halliday even saying quote, I've never heard of a frog like this before. People have been reporting mutant frogs for 200 years but to find one with three heads and six legs is very rare. Seems as though Froggy really is one in a million. In our number one spot today we have tuskless elephants. So you know how there are those terrible people who hunt huge gorgeous animals for no reason at all other than to steal their ivory tusks in order to make a profit? Well those people may have just caused a genetic mutation in elephants that might just end up kind of protecting these extraordinary creatures. More than 20,000 African elephants are killed every year just for their tusks alone leaving their bodies behind. Decades and decades of illegal poaching of these animals and the constant killing of tusked animals means that from an evolutionary standpoint, not having tusks is certainly more advantageous. Elephants without tusks is a hereditary trait that is caused by two tooth genes. Tuskless elephants are more likely to survive because they aren't being hunted as often, which means that this trait is being passed down more often. In fact, it is thought that the number of female African savanna elephants without tusks rose from 15% to 51%. I also only mentioned females because apparently in males, the tuskless gene is lethal. Scientists predict that this change is so 
so significant, even as poaching eases, this is likely a change that will still be seen for generations, which could have an absolutely devastating impact on the future of elephants. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.